Alright folks, uh, what's going on Home Frogs, this is your boy here, the Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you, of course, your personification of greatness when it comes to sports talk here on YouTube.com. It is Sunday, October 22nd, 2023, um, sorry for not doing videos these last couple of days, I um, wanted to take a little bit of a break, you know, recharge the battery and all, but I am back, I'm back here giving you all of the talk here in the world of sports, um, and some other stuff. So, um, you know, my Dallas Cowboys, by the way, uh, they do have the bye week this week. So, um, you know, this week, instead of talking about a game, we got to talk about the trade deadline. Because the Dallas Cowboys, um, it, they're going to be buyers in the trade deadline. And, you know, I, I've said this, you know, this is not a Super Bowl team. Um but, you know, they really do need to fix things up. I, I mean, there is deficiencies, you know, uh, going into this buy. And I really hope they do fix these deficiencies um, in the coming week. Because they do play a game against the Los Angeles Rams next Sunday. So, you know, they need to fix things not just on the defensive side of things. Especially on the offensive side of things. And, um... I'm going to talk about some of the players that we should get. Um, first and foremost, um, we got to go defense here. And it's uh, Kaiser Wright here. Um, Kaiser Wright, you know, he played for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And um, I know Jonathan Gannon, um, you know, wanted to get him because, yeah, he did work. Um, with the Philadelphia Eagle organization, and, um, I know a lot of people, uh, in Arizona, they weren't happy that White was part of the team, because of the fact that, you know, this is a franchise that is struggling, and they're not even going to be a playoff team anyways, I mean, you look at the NFC West, it's all about the 49ers and the Seahawks, um, but he did get a two-year, $10 million deal. Um, and, you know, you know, with, uh, Kazair White, you know, he leads the Cardinals in overall tackling, in tackling, and he's, uh, second amongst Arizona defenders with five tackles for losses, and he did get a pair of sacks, um, plus, you know, an interception in that, um, game against the Dallas Cowboys, which we should have won, he did get, um, one of the picks, um, which really sealed the game for the Arizona Cardinals, but, you know, he is, you know, a field general, especially for a Cardinals defense that's young, and, you know, he is a captain, and he does wear that green dot on his helmet, because he is the defensive signal caller, and, with him being in the middle of the field, um, you know, this is a team that, you know, is rebuilding. However, you know, with the Cowboys, they lost the linebacker in Leighton Vander Elsh. You know, he's going to be out for weeks. And even when he does come back, you know, the problem with the Dallas Cowboys is the run defense. Um, you put him in there... Um, White, you know, he's a three-down linebacker. He has the leadership, and he could help the Cowboys in the short term and even into next season uh, because of the contract. So um, that's one of the uh, moves that they should be getting. Another one, and I'm going to go into the offense, man, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. People are going to be like, oh, why, why DeAndre Hawkins to Dallas Cowboys? Um, I, I've read rumors about this. There's a lot of talk about this on Reddit. Um, I, I'm in the Dallas Cowboys Reddit page a lot. And I look at things and people in that community are talking about D-Hop going to the Cowboys. And I know Dallas wanted to get him this past offseason. But... Tennessee, they outbidded him, and you look at Tennessee right now, as of right now, 
and they are in last place in the um in the NF in the AFC South, not NFC South, AFC South. Um, uh, are they playing today? I uh, know they do have a bye week as well. So, um, he's only had 70 receiving yards in a game only once this season. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, pfft, that motherfucker's trash as fuck. Um, and he did suffer, you know, a high ankle sprain when they did lose to the Baltimore Ravens. So, this is bad for the Titans. And I know the AFC South, it, it's not... A mock key division. It, but here's the thing. You look at it right now. Jacksonville is 5-2. Jacksonville could ease. To me, I think they're going to win the division. I don't know what's happened with the Indianapolis Colts. I know uh, their quarterback, uh, Richardson, um, he's done for the year. And as of this uh, recording, they're only down by two to the Cleveland Browns. So, if they do lose this game, obviously, you know, you're giving a uh, full advantage to the Jacksonville Jaguars as well. But, it, it's just hard for the Titans to sneak into the postseason. Um, and almost impossible to them having much success if they do. But the Cowboys, you know, they're one of them teams out there that, you know, they are going to be in contendership for a playoff spot. And, yeah, I know the fact that Dallas, they did get Brandon Cooks and he did have a decent game uh, in that game against the Chargers. But when you look at the Andre Hopkins, his cap hit is going to be just under $4 million. And that number will skyrocket to almost $16 million in 2024. But if the Cowboys don't want to pay for Hopkins' service any longer, you can cut him for less than $2 million. And the Cowboys can afford it. And they do need to get a third wide out. I mean, Michael Gallup. You know, I, I was listening to... Um, Cowboys podcast, and they're saying right now Michael Gallup's got to prove himself in in these next couple of weeks because when you get into really the bread and butter of the NFL season, then Dallas is going to have to make that decision: Are they going to cut Michael Gallup? And this could be the perfect opportunity for DeAndre Hopkins to be there. They do need the talent out there at wide receiver. And Hopkins is one of the guys. Now, if you don't get a DeAndre Hopkins, you could go for Devontae Adams. Um, if you remember 2018, they saved their season. They gave the Raiders a first-round pick. Because the Raiders traded um, Amari Cooper to the Cowboys. And when he was with the Dallas Cowboys, he was one of the most productive pass catchers over a four-year period with the Cowboys. And the Raiders right now, they're going to be sellers at the trade deadline. I know they're playing right now um, because I'm actually tracking the game here and... The last time I checked, and remember, I am recording this, they're losing to the Chicago Bears. 24-6, you're losing to one of the worst teams in the NFL right now. So, why friggin', you know, a team that's going to be 3-4 and four right now, right now, that, that proves to me that you guys are going to be selling. And the Cowboys are going to need friggin', Ways to friggin' boost that offense. And this could be a great plan B. And I know it's all about money. And I know for the fact that Devontae Adams signed the friggin' five-year, $140 million mega deal with the Raiders. And his cap hit 
is 15 million. And I know it goes up. But if the Cowboys, they make that financial commitment to bring in Devontae Adams, then, you know, pretty much CeeDee Lamb, you know, what's going to happen with him? He He's going to be a free agent when his time comes. And he's going to be looking for a big deal. I, I know Dallas is going to be playing Russian roulette. And they're going to have to get rid of one of them guys. But still, Adams is really the best move that the Cowboys could make to improve that team this season. And the fact that he's been coached by Mike McCarthy. Just think about a one-two punch with Devontae Adams and C.D. Lamb. That could be the best wide receiver margin right now in the NFL. Are the Dallas Cowboys going to do that? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But uh, that's pretty much um, what I got to say about this. Of, of course, you know, I'm glad that I'm back doing videos here again. Um, like I said, I needed the break after a couple of days. Um, just a reminder, I do have a plan on doing the... Uh, New York Yankees post uh, off-season podcast on Tuesday. Uh, there are some topics that I am going to get into. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Until then, it's your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah. I'm out. See you guys later. Be out, be out. I'm out. Peace.